Okay guys, today we're going to be studying some calc. You guys have a test coming up soon, so you need to pay close attention to this. You can look at your book if you need to. Okay, the problem that we have is to find the limit as x approaches 0. Now we can't plug in a 0 right away because then we'd end up with a 0 in our denominator and that's a problem. So what we're going to do first to get rid of those fractions within a fraction is multiply both the top and the bottom by the least common denominator. When we do that we're able to cancel out and then we get 5 minus x plus 5 all over 5x x plus 5. You need to make sure that you write limit every single time otherwise you guys are going to get marked down on your test. Okay, so then when we distribute that negative to both terms 5 minus x minus 5 all over 5x x plus 5. We can cancel out those 5 so you get negative x over 5x x plus 5. Then you can take an x out of there so we end up with negative 1 over 5x plus 5 and then we can distribute on the bottom. So negative 1 over 5x plus 25. At this point it's safe to plug in a 0 because we're not going to end up with a 0 in the denominator. So when we do that, now we can stop writing the limit as x approaches 0, because we're actually doing the calculus portion of it. Plug in that 0 for the x. You get negative 1 over 5 times 0, which is 0, plus 25. So we get negative 1 over 25, and that's the limit as x approaches 0 of this problem.